This is a hyperlapse, all made using Unreal Engine 5. Woo! And the funny thing is, you won't believe how easy it was. But first, what's a hyperlapse? A time lapse is a series of images that shows the passing of time from a static position. You knew that. But a hyperlapse is a time lapse where the camera moves between each shot, basically. Now in theory, making a hyperlapse in UE5 should be easy. You could just export a frame, move the camera, so on and so on and so on until you have your sequence. But that's too easy, and I started thinking about it a little harder, and I need your help. So here's a mind rate question for you, and seriously, I do want to know your opinion on this. If time is sped up in Unreal Engine, but the camera is moving at a normal rate, wouldn't that be considered a hyperlapse? Now that's the idea that spawned this video, and also how we made this dope hyperlapse. Let's break it down. All right, open a project in UE5. Now the more dynamic and more things that are going on in your project, the better your hyperlapse is gonna turn out. We use the UE5 city sample because of its insane detail and photorealism. Next, set up a cine camera actor and sequencer and keyframe the move for your shot. It's best to keep focus on a single point in the environment. We used the three x three grid to make sure it was lined up perfectly. As for virtual camera settings, set that focal length as wide as you possibly can and then go into post-processing and turn on motion blur. We set our motion blur to 0.75 and our target FPS to 10. That's what's gonna make your shot look like a bunch of single taken photographs with natural motion blur. If you don't do this, it'll look like a bad video game cinematic. Great game, not what we're looking for. Pretty easy, right? But what makes a hyperlapse a hyperlapse? It's time passing. So how do we do that in Unreal Engine? Well, that's where blueprints come in. Ah, come on. It's easy. You've got this. This is where it gets weird because time doesn't exist in Engine like it does in the real world. You'll have to manually adjust elements that show the passing of time. The biggest indicator of that in Engine is the sun or the directional light. And this is where blueprints come in. Developing this functionality in Engine allows us to adjust the sun's position a certain amount per second, adjusted to match the length of our shot. Now the blueprint allows us to change atmospheric things as well, like light intensity, shadow position, and color matching. So all that we have to worry about is where the camera's facing and our lens settings. Now, all of these elements could be tracked individually in Sequencer, but we just used math and Blueprint figured it out for us. And if you want a full breakdown of what we did in Blueprint, just let us know down below in the comments. We'd love to make a full length tutorial. Then boom, you've got a hyperlapse. Now imagine all the things you can do with that. Put it on Instagram as a reel, put it on an LED volume, combine a hyperlapse with an in-camera VFX parallax. Hmm, who knows? Who knows what that would look like? I don't know. But if you wanna know how to make a parallax in virtual production, just click the video right here. Thanks for watching.